Hello everybody, welcome back for another BSJ Smurf showing you how to win at lower MMRs. Today we will be doing a five position game. And I purposely chose a much lower MMR to do this in because I have been told constantly that I cannot have impact and I cannot carry the game as a support. So what is really important for people to understand is that when I tell course, like in my jug video and in my Mars video, exactly what it takes to carry the game. Let's go over that one more time. First, you must clear waves effectively. Second, you must do it survivably. Third, you must represent some sort of kill threat or at least the ability to push people away from you, like bully them away in the case of a support, meaning that if I push a tower, they defend it, that I can stop them from defending it with the one person. Or, or sorry, and then lastly, the ability to end the game and go high ground. So the difficulty as a support is that oftentimes it's very difficult to do those last two things. Because unlike a Juggernaut who can buy Abyssal, or a Mars who can buy a Deso, most supports lack the ability to solo kill people. At least ones that have wave clear. But I think the first two things are by far the most important. To be able to efficiently wave clear, and then to do it survivably. So this looks different on support heroes, but at the end of the day, every session I've done, every replay analysis I've done, I've harped the fuck out of all of you for how poorly you prioritize pushing waves. And I will tell you, I believe there is a non-zero chance that I lose this game. I think it's very unlikely. I would put myself at 80 to 90% likelihood of winning this game from the five position. Um, and that is because the part that requires me to end the game is most likely not going to be on my hero. However, at the lowest MMRs, since everyone is inefficient, you can absolutely build support heroes to end the game. An example would be if I'm going to play Crystal Maiden, I could maybe go for a Hurricane Pike and an MKB because I have that 200 attack speed talent at level 20. Um, another example would be Jakiro, where maybe eventually I just use uh, Liquid Fire to end the game, right? So, or consider me Meteor Hammers later on in the game. Considering items that allow you to end the game, basically. And in my bracket, that usually won't work because if your support is playing like a core, it doesn't work because then you have four cores. But the thing about being in low MMRs is that your cores are incredibly inefficient. And our goal is to not grief them. We're not, my intent is not say, well, fuck you guys. I'm not actually going to support. I'm going to play core from the five position role. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is that when I talk about these core games, I talk about that there are sh there's shit that has to happen every single game. And that mainly pertains to pushing lanes and taking objectives. And the thing about lower MMRs is your cores aren't going to do that. So as a support, you have to do that. It's actually an important skill, though, that will translate all the way up to the highest MMRs. Because as a support, it's my job to not take farm from my cores, but anything my cores are not able to do or they are not doing, I should do instead. That is my job. I am enabling them by pushing lanes properly, as well as pushing lanes that they aren't able to push. So say I have a drow that wants to farm the triangle. It actually helps her if I push the lanes near her because it keeps her safe. That's an example of what I mean by if I push lanes properly, it does enable my course. So what I'm not going to do is take jungle farm um, or any super passive farm away from my course because that is something that is technically just griefing them. I am effectively taking their farm. But I'm going to do all the things that I need to do in a Dota game. And because most of my teammates are not going to be clearing waves properly, that will require me to farm a lot of creep waves. So I know there's a lot of you out there that are going to watch this game and say, BSJ, you didn't even support. I promise you, I will buy warts. I will buy detection. I will do whatever I need to do as a five position. But I will also be farming a shit ton. And the beauty of it is the lower MMR you are, the more likely it is that you'll get to farm as a support. Because farming as support is you taking farm that your cores are not taking. In high MMRs, cores are efficient, so they'll usually take all the farm that they're supposed to take. But in your bracket, that's not the case. So that is, this is uh, basically my attempt to show you what I believe is the proper way to think about playing support. And just like core, it all stems from what you understand needs to be done in a Dota game. Clearing waves and pushing objectives. So if you want to solo carry the game as support, I believe doing it on heroes like Bane or Oracle that lack the ability to wave clear, it's just not possible. 
That is my opinion. It is simply not possible to reliably solo carry the game. Yeah, you can secure your core a laning stage, but you'll absolutely never have farm. And if your cores don't want to push the lanes, then it's completely out of your control. So as I did in the Aries series, the three supports that come to mind are Crystal Maiden, Jakiro, and Shadow Shaman, all of which scale with right-click in the CM's case or have a way to threaten objectives in the Jakiro and Shaman case, and they also have a way to rapidly clear waves. That is the most notable thing. So today I'm going to prioritize Jakiro. If I don't get Jakiro, I'll pick Crystal Maiden, and we'll go from there. Banana Slam Jam. So what I want you guys to know is obviously I will be narrating my actions once again. All of it stems from what I know my cores need and what I know needs to be done in the game. And that's how you need to think as a support Little player. Bit of this, it's technically less straightforward and harder to do as a support. And that's why I usually recommend learning to play core as well if you are learning to play support. If you're a five position player, I highly recommend 20 to 30% of your games are one position. If you're a four position player, I highly recommend you play either mid or off lane sometimes because those are the lanes you interact with. And those are the cores you have to mostly support. And it's really important as a support, since I talk about all of your decisions stem from what your cores want and what your cores are doing, that you have some idea of how these core heroes need to be played. So I think that that's um, uh, one small tidbit of advice I would give you uh, because that is how I accrued a lot of the knowledge I have about what I'm about to tell you. So in Jakiro's case, I think it's really hard to lane against Legion Commander, so I will ban Legion. As support, I usually just think what off laners are hard to lane against. That's something you learn with time, but I have a Q that gets dispelled, Legion dispels, it's annoying. So when it comes to lanes, I will be preaching all the fundamentals that I normally go with um, in terms of uh, making sure I maintain lane equilibrium as much as possible, making sure that I um, give my core whatever they need, and I'll be talking about all the things they do need as much as I can. Maybe a bit harder for me to talk during the game as support. If that proves to be the case, then I will go back through the game itself and, and review it for you guys. Will you do a pause for review soon? Would I love will your be doing thoughts. every position for this. So we're against Lion Axe, looks like. This is a kill lane against us. So we need to prioritize movement speed, make sure we don't get caught out by the Battle Hunger plus stun. We do need a salve. They have a lot of burst damage, so we want to not only be able to salve ourselves, but we also want to be able to salve our jug. We're going to be giving tangos to the mid lane, so now we need an extra set of tangos. And then we need mana. So we have a mid luna. Very cool. At this point, what we could do is actually prioritize one set of tangos, more mana regen, and then... Um, fly ourselves tangos later. The option is to either fly ourselves uh, mana regen later or to fly ourselves tangos later because we know we need more of each. So I'm actually going to choose to prioritize the mana regen early because the mangos will give me a bit of extra health regen and I can fly myself items later. Why don't you just kill them instead of letting them kill you? We can absolutely look to kill them with spin on jug, but it'll have to be... Uh, after wearing them down just a bit. But either way, since it is a kill lane one way or the other, I do need move speed. Um, is my Luna gonna take a ward? No. Okay, I'll fucking take a ward. I could absolutely use a ward in the bottom lane. We want to be able to operate freely on the left side of the lane because of this kill lane. Uh, do I really need to turn notifications off? Just 30 seconds now. Dude, your friend better stop messaging me, bro. We're gonna level our Q. It's just the default skill on Jakiro. Looks like you still have friends to play with. It's better than most people in chat. Normally, normally. So we're gonna need to fly ourselves more tangos most likely. We're gonna always make sure we're topped off as much as possible against heroes like this. We're gonna stay on the high ground to scout for the rune. Oh, it's not on quick cast like I wanted it to be. Okay, I got battle hungered. Need to change my shits. First blood is on the ground, and we're already looking for gonna more. Gonna fly ourselves our items. Gonna look to go boots as our greedy item, but we may end up getting a stick to trade. So we'll queue up Double the boots kill. and the stick. Gonna block it just a tad bit. Looks like the opponent's not blocking, so we're not gonna block. Oh, we blocked in the tower. That means the lane is going to push. Give the jug as much solo XP as possible. 
let the opponent fuck with me while he's getting free CS. This works for me. This is why I have the win ways. As long as we're not fighting both of them at once, we don't really care. Come get it, Lion. Little bit of this, little bit of that. You want some? Uh oh, am I dead? Am I about to feed in a Herald game? Guys, there's CS going on over there. This is epic. I'm gonna try to get the pull off. Wait, my courier isn't. Oh my god, it's not delivering. Nice, we got the pull off. My hockey's on my courier. I did not change them. Denies and last hits as we can over here. Try to game in 1000 MMR bracket the other day. We had off lane Magnus who got fast battle fury after having super easy lane. The moment I saw it in his stash, I lost it. How much patience is needed to play on such low MMR bracket? Go ahead and give us a, cells a clarity. Should be a camp respawning here. Notice how we're giving as much solo XP to the jug as possible. Again, notice how in this low of a bracket they don't even stop us. They completely let us do whatever the fuck we want, which is the glory of it. Lion's still level one as well. We're just out leveling them. This is just higher efficiency than the opponent. Oops. Except for me missing CS. He's underneath the creep wave, so we're perfectly fine to harass him right now. Suck it, Axe. Gonna buy ourselves a stick. Some clarities. Oh, he's running at us. Okay, we gotta be careful of getting gone on at both at the same time. We can help our... The jug's ready for action! Forced him out of position with the pull. Very nice. Even managed to block the pull camp myself. Got the first blood or whatever in the lane. That's all good. Let the jug have as much solo XP as possible. I need to fucking change my hotkeys. Uh, lane is not pushing, so we can just harass this guy a bit. Does my jug need anything? No, he's fucking full region. What is he talking about? He hasn't even interacted with an enemy hero this whole lane. <laughs> Jug's getting a creep simulator here. I will yoink a little bit of his XP now. He can look to maybe be aggressive. Tonight. Easy. Oh, he doesn't want this last hit? I'll take it. Oh, is my Luna rage abandoning or what? Use the tangos to get the pull off. Like how they don't even stop this. Very cool. Oh, he's out of position again. My jug's higher level than him. We're capitalizing on the lead we've accrued here. Dude, get the other guy. He's so low. Oh no, he got away. I'm gonna pause, not only to help my teammate, but also because I need to fucking change my courier hotkeys. Well, if we get an abandon, then we'll have to do it again. Nope, the opponent's not waiting. The true heroes are the ones who wait all the way. Wait, that's a mid specter? Yikes. Might not be able to carry this one, guys, if my mid laner is down by two levels at four minutes to a mid specter. Might not be able to carry this one. We're gonna TP mid though. Now the fight resumes. But will it follow the same? So you guys think this lion's gonna cancel my TP? Nice, he did not cancel mine. Are you actually diving me? What the fuck? Oh, Curry. Courier has been killed. Dude, chill out. What the fuck? Dude, I'm just a measly Jakiro trying to chill, bro. 
Trying to chill or what? Anytime my mid laner leaves, whether or not that's a disconnect or the jungle, I will take his lane. Find myself some items to make sure I have mana. This guy's level 6 and I'm bullying him. Very cool. What's his mana health status? None. Very cool. Very herald things. Just max our two skills that give us farm efficiency and harassing potential. We missed! GG. Notice how he's level 6 and I'm level 4 and I'm bullying him. Easy game. If my team abandons, I will give up. But if my team wants to play 4v5, I'll try. And notice how we've now established dominance over the guy that's two levels higher than us. Very cool. Because he had poor resource management. Oh my god, we got a fucking regenerate. We're fucking in, boys. We're gonna monitor our jug bottom. He's level 5 to their level 4s. We're good with that. Gonna buy ourselves some more mana so we can keep spamming down these waves. Pressure the mid tower with the catapult. Can do that as Jakiro, which is nice. Gives us options when nothing else is happening in the game. Max out that liquid fire just because that's what we're doing right now. If I was not taking a tower, I probably would have gone my Q. But yeah, this is just one KMMR right here. People just uh, lose their mid towers to a five position. He's DPing back. Nuke him a little bit. There you go. Now we've got Tranquils. We can sustain harder. We're going to fort aggressively. We're going to use our E on the tower. Very cool. They're forting. Oh, no. Okay, making sure we get as many CS as possible. Checking out bottom. Looks like Jug solo killing people. Why is he doing that, BSJ? Because you gave him solo levels for so long and such a good start. Uh, that makes sense to me. Keep flying ourselves mana. Give ourselves... Oh, no, nope, all the wards are bought. What is this Spectre doing? He isn't used to a guy hitting him. I'll hit you, Spectre, if you want to go at it, man. So right now, we're just pressure. You know, if Spectre wants to come back, we'll hit him. Oh, they're running at me. I might be dead here. Got some stick charges. No! Okay, so we got ganked. It's because we didn't have the ward yet. That's fine. We're also battling against a guy two, high, two levels higher than us. That's fine, though. We're keep maxing out the skills that allow us to do what we want to do. Looks like my bottom tower is defended. So since my bottom tower is defended, we're not concerned. We're not concerned at all. We're going to now give ourselves the proper ward information. That's exactly why I wanted to ward earlier. Whoa, my god, the return. Oh, no, I haven't died yet in, in these games. Oh, my god, what is that setting, chat? What is that? The enemy attacks your middle tower. And that dramatic music. <laughs> Fresh Top lane looks like they're ganking. I need to make sure this lane's pushed out before I do anything. Let's see if my team leaves. If they leave, they leave. I'll restart. I'm gonna just secure the fact that I have war control of this area. Make sure they don't. I'll keep pressuring the Spectre. We want to make him use his resources to be here. Because we are a support. And even though he's a core, he's not exactly an aggressive core. He can't really do anything back to me. And he also hasn't proven that he's willing to. So. Once we get level 7, we'll be able to pressure this tower much better. We see top tower getting taken. Or pressured, I mean. But it's not dying or anything. Got the maxed out. Liquid fire now. The smith tower should just die. Very cool. And then the Spectre is not used to getting hit. Come back, Spectre. I'm your friend. Are you gonna die? Nice. Very cool. So Yule's a survivability item that also gives us mana regen. Oh, you want some? 
Got some dog? Very cool. Keep pressuring waves. Keep pressuring heroes that are in front of us. And this all comes from just getting efficiency, man. So we're going to give ourselves this. And then since we pushed out mid, we're going to go get ourselves some resources. Because this is not an acceptable amount of resources. We're basically playing like a core now. Though we're going to play it from the support role. We have absolutely no mid laner. Looks like our jug that we supported this game is owning. So now that we've taken mid tower, it's time to go pressure the other carry they have. The third carry. Who has phase boots ring out. That's pretty much no items. Hey Venno, if you want to come top, buddy, we can kill this guy. If he says, okay, that's great. If he says, fuck you, that's great too. I think I might be able to kill this guy anyway. We can at least use our spells to harass the shit out of him. Because he's a carry and he doesn't want to be harassed right now. Die! Just gotta make sure we're positioned okay. We do have a nice ward here. Venno's here to help me. Dude, this map is so bright. You guys think this guy sees us? Okay, he has the map we're in is higher than what I would expect. So now, pressure this tower. Notice how in this bracket, nobody even stops you. Just take their towers. Really important to be a support that can do that. I'm gonna walk over, because we've already pushed the lane, just like we did with the off lane. Oh, there's a CM here. Oh, PA and CM. We got a Venno to help us. Cool. Let's take the creep wave off. Just keep our distance. Because we're the one taking the tower right now. We're gonna buy ourselves our Yules. And go ahead and liquid fire this tower. Just keep doing this. Easy pressure on the tower. They're not going to stop us. Ah, uh, he's going to throw a dagger at us. Rude. Let's keep our distance. Keep doing our thing. Mid lane needs to be pushed next. So we're going to keep this pressure up. With uh, the defensive ult. Now that we've got the defensive item. We're out the ice path. Now we juke him. Juking and jiving. Ice path. Easy. And we finish the tower off. Eh. And there's a specter, so we're going to TP back to base so we don't die to it. And we're going to sell this guy's items. And we're going to buy... A So we see bottom tower getting taken by my teammate. He has a Mask of Madness and 2400 gold. DD rune top that's been ignored for a minute and a half. We have a Pudge with Etherlins. Queued up. We have a Venomancer. Okay. We're going to nuke out the mid wave. We see nobody, so we're going to need a ult. Oh. Attack range seems good for ending the game. We have not been able to buy any wards this game. Honestly, it doesn't seem like we need to. So now we'll walk our way to the bottom tower. Oh! How's this guy want? Am I dead? Am I dead, guys? Team! Team! Healing ward? Holy moly. Okay, okay, we don't have a team chat. The poor man's shield saved us, though. Okay, so we can no longer assume we have a team. That's fine. That's okay. We're gonna go back to farming the lane that needs to be farmed by every Radiant squad. He's going for a Battle Fury, so we'll pressure this guy again. Looks like my team is content to sit bottom as two cores, which is not good, right? So we'll just do this. Your top tower is under attack. Uh, no 
nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Bounty runes are up, but we need to push the lane first. This attack range is sick. So we're gonna war now we're gonna push the mid lane, because nobody's doing that either. Gonna give ourselves a ward here. For the sake of pushing top of mid. We're gonna watch the fights. We have TP in seven seconds. Check room. Completely willing to use our ultimate to get creeps. We see a fight going on. We're gonna make our way there. We're gonna nuke the tower mid real quick. Ah, fresh mate. Killing spree. This guy wants to fuck. Okay. So we're going to deward this area. I wish this Venom would stop taking the wards. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure they don't have vision here. That's good. Because I want to be playing here with my team. Making sure we keep the mid lane push. We're checking out that bottom push. Looks like they're all good. We're going to nuke out that ourselves. Mid lane's the most important lane to keep cleared. We're watching our team, but that's just not a tower we want to take, so if they want to do that, they're more than welcome to. This lane needs to get pushed. I'm going to go ahead and walk here. Let's see. Jug is jungling. Is he going Battle Fury? No, he's going MKB. That's reasonable. So we've got damage on lock. Uh, at this point, probably just tankiness is our best bet. So probably like Shiva's and an Ags. We can kind of just kite the PA around. We'll be higher net worth than she is, even though she's a carry. We need a little bit of armor, though. Shakiro's a pretty naturally tanky support hero. So, um, we don't really need, um, like, health items, necessarily. Mid lane not pushed, so we'll take care of that next if nobody else does it. Let's see, Pudge is just chillaxing. Down for that. Chill Dota. 4v5 Dota, chill. Uh, everyone on the enemy team is missing, so we're just going to do that. Uh, Yule's him and TB up. See you later, nerds. Could have glimmered, but that was for the flex. Always important to think about their TP cancels. It's hard to remember the items I have when I'm busy talking to you guys. See what Jug does with those. Nice. We'll take that. Fresh, mate. Oh, my Pudge is going on him. So right now we forced rotations to top. So we're going to go ahead and decide to farm bottom. He's dead. Cool. There's another wave here to be cleared. In the meantime, we can get a little bit of efficiency going here. Because it takes very few little time to do that. I'm going to walk bottom. Lion has realized that he's going to get out-carried by a Jakiro, so he has left the game. Yeah, stack this camp. Oops. Yeah, stack this camp and have it be too late. Oh, nope, it's not too late. Look at So everyone's missing once again, so we're just going to do the whole nuke the wave from afar. Get them back out. Juggernaut's going to wonder why I did that. That's fine. I want to control this area with wards, but, you know, Venno keeps buying all the wards, so I can't actually do that. going to fly ourselves some clarity as well. Mid lane needs to be pushed. Literally nobody's doing anything in this game, if you've noticed. So I'm just saying, hmm, this lane needs to be pushed. And that lane. And that lane. And that lane. And that's all I'm doing all game, because literally nothing else is happening. Literally nothing so imagine to yourself if you were a support hero that could not clear waves in a game like this what would you do i could buy an extra wind lace sure i could have done that that is absolutely something i could have done buy mjolnir 
I don't actually need a Mjolnir to clear wave. So I'm not I need mana and I need to survive on Jakiro specifically, right? So I don't need a Mjolnir. Works for me. There's a lane that needs to be pushed, and I will push it. Radiance Courier has been slain in cold blood. Also sets up for the bounty runes. Gonna take the damage talent. Fresh mate! Looks like my team's going high ground. Ourselves in Arcanery. Notice how all I do is push the lane and come back to my team. That's what you can do as a support when you feel like you should be with your team. If your team wins the fight, great. If they don't, what can you do? That lane needed to be pushed. Looks like there's a TA here. Okay, I'm gonna go and keep pushing it out. Just don't care about anything else. If they want to give us a tower for free, it's good by me. The enemy's middle tower passes into now we walk to the next tower. Dude, I really wish I could buy a fucking ward this game, but all the wards are always taken. Oh, my team's fighting over here. We'll quickly douse that with some of that. Nice path from range, Poggies! Glimmer might carry Poggies! Get in there! I could Yules him, but I honestly thought he was gonna be fine. Six spellcasting BSJ, thank you, thank you. Oh, he's got a Radiance. That's a fucking yikes. Then take some of that. Where's my jug? Oh, he's dead. Okay, so he's got a Battle Fury, the other guy's got a Radiance. You're wondering why they haven't contested me at all when I push towers. That is the answer. So we're going to push one more wave before we go back to base. Uh, I cannot kill this, but I can take the mangoes. Oh, the gang train is here. Holy shit, the four-man rotation. Forced out from the five position, Jakiro. Okay, honestly, it's fine with me. We've now got ourselves a solid 4v4 four, four four game of Dota 2. They've all reacted to top. How's my team going to capitalize? Very nice. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep going, Jug. Get him. It's right there. Oh, dude. See him. Dude. 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 Chill. Your top tower is under attack. Okay. Is under attack. Give ourselves the tone because nobody else is using it. This lane needs to be pushed, so we shall push it. And miss every CS in the process. Go back. Dude, I'm actually annoyed that this Venno keeps buying all the warts. Or who keeps buying them all? Push out the- oh my god. Dude, how is the- oh, there's a fucking backswing on my spell, huh? The enemy's bottom this guy won't fuck off, huh? Dude, this guy wants the dick. Dude, what the fuck? 
I'm gonna buy out. <laughs> See you later, nerd. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is happening? And that is why you must buy items that help you survive. Okay. Uh, now we're just gonna make us do our job better. That's all we're gonna do now. We wanna be able to sustain, we want more mana, we want lower cooldowns. But all that would not be possible if we just didn't have a shit ton of farm. Okay, what do we got here? This guy's got a BKB. Wow, I wouldn't try hard. Just going back to the job that needs to be done in the game. We're gonna pay attention to what's going on here. Is Jug gonna fuck that guy up or what? Tower is under attack. My Pudge was juggling it's triangle. I agree with that sentiment. We can take the top outpost. Killing spree. Uh oh. Dude, Spectre, can you chill the fuck out, bro? The Spectre is not having it, man. He's not having it. Holy shit. Okay. Nice. Anything can be done with a lot of farm, guys. All you need is items. That is the message to be sent here. And if my team ain't gonna farm the lanes, I will farm the lanes. He's telling me to bait. I'm down. Oh, I did that a bit too early. We saw that. Bottom tower is under attack. Axe is reviving with a blink, so I have to get the fuck out. To regret this. We fly ourselves a bunch of clarities. Tower has fallen. Gonna go back to pressuring the top lane. What's happening with my jug? Okay, he's got a silver edge coming in hot. Eh. Gotta be topped off on mana. We're gonna kill this mango tree. Okay, got ourselves a mango. Very cool. Chill out, bro. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh! Oh my god, my butthole. Holy crap. Is he gonna drop that enchanted quiver? Okay. Double damage. The enemy team just made a four man move on the outpost. I was not ready for that. Jug is holding on to that quiver for safekeeping. I respect the notion. He's looking to rush. I can be there. Tell him you can help. Good communication. Looks like Jug has finally decided to do what his hero does best with the double damage room. We'll drop an ice path on there. Team is doing some random shit. But that's okay. The opponent has decided to so kindly gracious with the rules. We tried. What can you do? I'm gonna go ahead and ward this high ground with a sentry. Oh my god, a ward's in stock. Okay. It's just an area we don't want them to have vision, so if they didn't have vision there, it's fine. But since they do, we get a D ward. Very cool.
Oh, Axe is looking for me. I should have used him, but I didn't react in time. Okay. Very interesting. My jug is going in. Ice path of the century! Very fucking cool. Split the uprights. Oh, we have Yules. Oh. oh, yeah, get in there. Oh, now we've got an Octarine Core. Buy ourselves more clarities. And now, we can end the game. Or at least somewhat. So we're going to wait for our team to push the wave. And while they're doing that, we're going to go clear another wave. So that we get multiple lanes into the lane, at, into the base at once. Very cool. We'll meet up with our team right when they get there. Very strategic. Extra wave cleared. Ah, oh, he's sucking me! Okay, now got Octarine Core. My Octarine Core is in my fucking backpack. What the fuck? Nobody saw that, right? Okay, so now we just continue doing what we're doing. Sit in the back. No reason to overreact to anything. Oh, we got a healing word, though, so we can go high ground. Ice Path follow up! Easy. Good job, Pudge. Doing your job. I'm gonna code that one, then we're gonna code that one. Oh. And, uh, looks like an easy game to me. So this game may have seemed easy, or you like you learned nothing. And I would say that for me personally, that is the case. Except I did learn some interesting one v ones that you get in the. Oh, he's going back in. Gotta make sure you're back to get up any backup for him there. There we go. Oh, Jug's going ham. Oh, he's in. Ice path! Easy spell casting from BSJ. And GG. Just remember that that's the guy we gave solo XP to. So that when we left him alone in lane, he was actually killing the other team. Very cool. Very fucking cool. But really nothing fancy was done this game. We kind of just hit creep waves. And because the enemy team literally hit no creep waves at all the entire game, that's all we had to do. We didn't even have to try to fight back. We just occasionally showed up to some fights after the creep waves were pushed. Our cores were pinging us. He, he got mad on Pudge that we weren't as five or whatever or as four. And it just doesn't matter because all the lanes were always pushed. And it was just a pretty straightforward game. He wasn't scared for a single second, even though my mid rate quit it eight minutes into the game or whatever. So my question is genuinely, did that video or did that game prove anything or do I need to play a game where my mid doesn't abandon? Could have talked a bit more about warding? Not really. I'm actually going to say this now after playing that game. There's really nowhere to ward there. First off, my Venno kept buying the wards, but my warding was just going to be on where I wanted to farm, which is the same as you would as a core. 
It's the top and bottom. It's the top and mid lane looking to take Roche at some point. So I would have I would have warded Roche area with one in the hill that I de-warded and the other one somewhere deep in their jungle because that's where I wanted to play. And that's where I'm going to play. If I'm core, if I'm support, that's where I'm going to play. So whatever's happening elsewhere on the map, we don't really give a shit about. As long as those two lanes are pushed, we're good. I will um, play one more to hopefully not get an abandoned, but if we get another abandoned, that'll be it.